Making a call to the emergency services can be an incredibly stressful experience, but it can be especially difficult if you live with dementia. The Welsh Ambulance Services have been working in partnership with people living with dementia, as well as other services, to improve the experience. Nick Thatcher went to South Wales to meet the team. For people living with dementia, using an ambulance, whether it's for an emergency or a planned trip, can often be a stressful experience. And for paramedics like Lee, knowing how to recognise the condition and respond appropriately can make all the difference to a patient's support, care and treatment. I can think of one particular patient where she was non-verbal, she was very advanced in her dementia, but she had a pain in her leg and it was reported that she had a pain in her leg, but she couldn't tell me that. And she was just crying and shouting the whole journey into the hospital. And one of the techniques that I've been taught is something called a hand pump, where you actually hold someone's hand and just gently squeeze it. And by doing that, I managed to get her to calm right down. And by the time we got to the hospital, we were singing songs together and she was nice and calm. It's training like this that the Welsh Ambulance Services NHS Trust is rolling out to all its staff to raise awareness of dementia and ensure the needs of people living with the condition are met. We're really trying to understand the needs of people living with dementia as they use and access our services. So we're building up that continuous training programme at the moment to make sure that everybody has the right skill mix and knowledge around dementia. And what's wonderful about that is that people living with dementia are involved in that work. They are influencing the content of that programme and they're actually up front and centre delivering the training with us and for us. Linda and I are here to tell our stories, really. Andy Woodhead and Linda Willis are both living with dementia and take part in training sessions in which they can share their own experiences. There are over a hundred different types of dementia, so we're all different. And if you meet Linda or you meet me, you've only met two people with dementia. Both have had reasons to use the ambulance service themselves in the past and have seen the difference training like this can make. I recently had an experience. I got rushed into hospital. I had a bleed on my brain. I was um, really in a, uh, a terrible state. Um, and uh, the paramedics that came to the house had, had obviously received some good training um, from an initiative like this and were immediately able to calm me down in a way that my family weren't able to. People affected by dementia often identify telephone services to be stressful and difficult to use. So it's another key focus of the training given to staff here. And as well as being involved with the training, people living with dementia are invited into environments like this one, the clinical contact centre, where they can see how their calls are taken, assessed and provided with an appropriate response. Groups have also visited ambulance stations to give their opinion on how dementia-friendly they find the vehicles, equipment and uniforms. We've also encouraged them to come into our quality committee, um, they've come into our trust board committees and they've explained to our trust board exactly what it's like to live with dementia and it's really great to hear their experiences and it makes us very committed to make our services even better for them. Funding from the Welsh Government has helped make much of this work a reality and the Trust also consults with carers, families and other health and social care partners to help inform its strategy. For Linda, playing a key role in the project has made her feel valued and listened to. It's given me such a boost, such a confident boost. I can't praise the ambulance service enough. They actually listen to what people with dementia want from the service what they need from the service, and they've delivered it, and that means so much. 